All right, make no mistake about it. Giants running back Saquon Barkley is a fighter. The Giants are one in five as they get set to entertain the Washington Commanders Sunday at MetLife. The NFL trade deadline October 31st, 4 p.m. Barkley could not reach a deal on a long-term contract with the Giants in the offseason, even though he wanted one. Let's remember when the Giants drafted Barkley second overall out of Penn State, the Giants were his first and only choice. He wanted to be here. That is why it comes as no surprise that Barkley is not cutting and running and does not want to be traded. His action this summer should tell you all you need to know about Saquon. He was there the first day at camp, did not create a distraction, agreed to a one-year deal the Giants presented to him. Yes, he had no leverage, but he could have caused a headache, and he did not want to and wanted to be there for his teammates. Now the question is, what does GM Joe Shane and the Giants decide to do? There's no doubt that when healthy, Barkley, a top three running back in the National Football League, and he could help a team win a title. Do the Giants look at Barkley as part of their long-term plans? Well, their actions would lead you to believe that they are not willing to pay Barkley the contract that he's looking for. They can franchise tag him once again following this season to make sure he remains a giant. In the end, the question for the Giants is a value proposition. I have no doubt that GM Joe Shane will take calls on Barkley, but he will not shop him. There is a difference and a distinction. And in the end, one of the determining factors will be what are teams willing to give up for the Giants' tailback? But make no mistake about it, Saquon does not want to go anywhere, even though there are greener pastures out there in the NFL. He loves being a New York Giant. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.